Hey guys, it's looking like it's going to have a thunderstorm right now. It's super hot, so if the lighting's kind of weird, that's why. But my time to film is pretty limited, so I thought I would just roll with it. This is a favorites video. It's kind of like a current favorites slash May favorites. I didn't do one in April because it was in exams, and I wasn't really wearing any makeup, to be honest. But yeah, these are my favorite products for the moment. <coughs> my throat is still acting up, so, um, yeah, I'm sorry if it's annoying. Uh, the first thing, I think I'm going to talk about eyeshadow first. I have rediscovered my love of gold eyeshadows, and it's kind of hard to pull off gold when you're really pale skinned. So in the winter months, I tend to go with cool tone golds like Patina for MAC, but I really like warm golds for the summer when I have a bit of color to my face. This is my favorite probably, it's Woodwinked, and this is kind of like a love it or hate it color. It does pull very warm on a lot of people's skin. Sometimes it looks good though if you have a bit of color. I don't think that it would work if you're very, very fair. I could be proven wrong obviously. Um, yeah, it totally reacts differently with other people's skin tones. But I can only really pull it off in the summer, but last summer I made, I made a pretty big dent, so I'm glad to be able to keep using that. My next colors are from the Urban Decay 15 Anniversary Palette, and this is back on Sephora's website. So if you missed out on it last year and you want it now, then now's your chance. Um, one of my favorite colors from this is Chase, and it's this gold color. <coughs> mm, uh, excuse me. And this is a bit of a lighter gold. It's not as warm toned. And I really like it just all over the lid. And I also really love Flow, which is right above it, which is a peachy color. And I think this is a really awesome palette because you have light neutrals, dark neutrals, and then colors that are kind of fun in the middle. And yeah, this one wasn't that expensive for 15 eyeshadows, and they're the same size as the Naked Palette uh, eyeshadows. <coughs> uh, anyways, next I'm going to go with uh, this. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer. I've tried a lot. Um, I just placed an order with the Balm because they were having a buy one get two free on their um, palettes. So I got three palettes for like 40 bucks. And I also, I had to add other stuff to get free shipping. So we try, I'm trying their tinted moisturizer. I got a bit of a darker shade because all of my foundations are really pale right now. So, sidetrack. Anyways, this is very expensive and very good. I have the shade Nude. And I've had this for a while. Um, it's kind of messy, but you got 1.5 ounces and I think it's about 50 bucks in Canada. It's kind of shocking, but... Yeah, I don't. I got it at the Sephora Friends and Family sale. I'm probably gonna re repurchase this either in the states or at, during one of those sales if I do. I have just the regular formula one, and it lasts all day. It never looks flaky on my dry skin. It never looks overly oily, and the color selection isn't very good. But the colors they have are good, if that makes any sense. Like, they don't have, like, a dismal color selection. There's probably, like, seven or eight shades. But the colors they have are... This one's kind of, like, a peachy tone. It's not too pale. It's not too pink or orange or anything. It's just perfect. And, yeah. This is my new concealer. It's the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And the color I got was, um, Fair. And this is kind of a weird color. It's kind of almost ashy looking in the pot. Um... It's very cool toned. I kind of just grabbed the first one I saw. I don't know if there's a better match for me. It doesn't look bad though once I blend it in. Um, the whole concept's kind of weird. It has like a sponge tip applicator. But it feels really soft in your eyes. Um, I don't know. Apparently they have something to make it hygienic. Some kind of cleaning thing in it. I don't know. <coughs> but I figure if I'm just using it under my eyes I can't do too much harm. And yeah, this is pretty good. I haven't been sleeping a lot, so I definitely need a lot of concealer. Um, 
Next I'm going to talk about a skincare product. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. And I found two random samples of this lying around my house. I guess my mom got it as a gift with purchase or something. But um, I've been using it and I've been using it probably for about a week and my sample is half used up. So I have a whole other one to go so I guess I have like a month worth of use. Um, I kind of, this does not work as a replacement to your moisturizer at night. That's kind of what I thought the first time I used it because I'm not like old enough to know too much about serums. But I put some regular moisturizer on and then put this on top and my skin looked really great in the morning and I've been using it for a week so it's pretty consistent. It's looking good consistently and yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to repurchase a big bottle of this, but for what it's worth, I think it's a pretty good product. It's probably really expensive, I don't really know. The next thing uh, is this Ojan Damage Reverse Oil. Um, I went to the beach over last weekend. It's just like a lake beach, but um, my hair still got kind of insane. It was really frizzy. And I put one drop, a tiny little drop of this, and my hair was like amazing looking right after. And I think if you're going to invest in a hair oil, I like this better than Moroccan oil. Um, I've also tried the L'Oreal one, the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's in like a gold bottle. And this is my favorite by far. I don't think it has silicone in it. Uh, I don't know, there's not really any ingredients on here. But yeah, I think this is an amazing product and it, it's going to last me at least a year. This is kind of random. It's from um, Whole Foods. It's a lavender blend body lotion. And it's organic, I think. And um, this is like four bucks. I was really impressed. And this smells amazing. If you love the smell of lavender. And I had a sunburn, so I kept putting this on just to make sure my skin wasn't going to flake, and it hasn't, so it's definitely a good moisturizer. <coughs> the next thing is a self-tanner. Um, I can do a video about this if you guys really want. It's the Jergens Natural Glow Foaming Gradual Tanner. I got medium to dark because the lightest one never does anything, in my opinion, unless you're, like, porcelain. But yeah, this is way more powerful than the normal stuff, so I would kind of go easy on it. I have found that if I don't rub it in a lot, I get kind of streaky. You just have to keep rubbing it in for like longer than you think you need to. And I've been using this on my face too, and I haven't broken out, and it gave me a pretty nice color. So I really like this, and it's very cheap for a foaming self-tanner. Um, I have a nail polish, and then I'll do a couple beauty things last. It's from the Essie Summer Collection, I'm pretty sure. It's called Ole Caliente. And this really reminds me of, um, what's it called? Some Cajun shrimp from OPI. It's kind of like a corally red. And I've been wearing this a lot. I'm not wearing it right now, but I wore it on my toes for a week. I wore it on my hands like two or three times. And I've only had this about a month. So yeah, this is beautiful, and the formula is really nice. I know Essie's kind of hit and miss, but this is a good one. Um, my mascara that I've been using all the time is the Revlon Grow Lashes. And my lashes don't look great today because I was running out the door. I think I only put like half of a coat on, you know. But um, this is great. It's a really like trustworthy standby mascara. It's not like incredible. But I find that the really incredible mascaras, sometimes they look great, and then the next time they look okay, and then like, I don't know if that happens to other people, but this one always looks good. I have three cheek products. I have the NARS Laguna, Laguna Bronzer. I'm not going to talk about this too much, but it's amazing, and I've used a lot of it. And I have probably used this every day since I bought it. Next is limited edition, but you might still be able to get it. It's the Crew Highlight Powder from MAC, and this is not really a highlight powder, I'd say it's a blush. I swirled all of the colors in this today and I'm wearing it on my cheeks, and I really love it, so there's not really much to say. The white stuff is an overspray, 
So once it's gone, it's probably going to be more color. I don't know. It's kind of similar to Hervana, I've heard, from Benefit. The last thing I have, yeah, is the um, Florida Cream Blend Blush from MAC. This is limited edition, but it's just a hot pink color. It's not like a super unique color, but I love this for summertime. It's a cream to powder formula, so it really lasts on your skin. And the color is just beautiful, and um, you do need a light hand, obviously, unless you want to look like a clown. But this is gorgeous, and those are all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Bye!